Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Miller, Director of Technical Advocacy here at Cohesity. Stop for a moment and imagine that you have multiple systems down which have already been identified as a cyber attack by our security operations and IT ops teams. We need to initiate a formal incident response. At Cohesity, we view incident response as a process with three phases. Initiate, investigate, and mitigate. Our demo today will take you through the first phase, initiate, of our minimum viable response process, which is about establishing a trusted place to use as the foundation for response. It is what allows us to analyze the threat and to effectively mitigate as quickly as possible. So just to give a quick overview, this will be done in a few different parts. First, we'll take a look at potential threats to determine if we need to initiate incident response. Then we'll ensure the digital jump bag file share with our security software and tools ready. And finally, we'll recover to our clean room to ensure the security team starts full forensic analysis. Let's go ahead and dive in. First, we headed over to our security center. And what you can see is at a glance, there are several threats at play. What I'm going to do though is have you also take a look at our anti-ransomware dashboard. At a glance, you're getting a broad view into the cyber attack with the ability to drill into any of these servers, giving you a real quick glance into anything that might be going on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at a single server. This first system that started with DHW. And I can quickly see I have snapshots that are being blocked, which is indicative of potential ransomware. This is also giving us the ability to zoom in and out to more quickly and better understand the nature of what is happening and to validate if there's actually an attack taking place. Beyond that, I can view trends so that you can see how many files have changed and added, deleted, and more. We can also go over to affected files. And in affected files, I can see that there have been over 16,000 affected files by this particular incident, with half of them being newly added or modified. This information is indicative of a ransomware attack. As for sensitivity, I can see here that we did indeed find some sensitive information, such as passwords, tokens, keys, and secrets. Now, this is noteworthy because these may also be used to further the attack. So it's all good information to share with the response team. And now on to taking a closer look at threats. This is where we can really begin the threat hunting. So if I were to go in and drill down into this additional scan, what it's telling me is that this default threat feed has picked up four threats. Keep in mind, we can also input custom YAR rules to further and hone in on our searches as needed. Next, let's get some insights around the detection through VirusTotal, helping us validate what other solutions have found to be malicious. I can also take a look at behavior from a MITRE attack perspective to understand other possible tactics so we can respond effectively. So if I scroll down, here we can see and review some of the attack techniques that were used within this threat. Now there's a variety of things here today. However, as we take a look, I just wanted to make mention that when we consider an attack, Active Directory can often be a target. And this is due to the high value and the deeper control by attackers. With Cohesity, we have the ability to do an AD comparison, 
looking for changes in objects and state to understand compromise. We can also help support recovery of those objects or all of Active Directory if needed. All right, so now that we have taken a look at the particular threat and done some threat hunting, we now have a better understanding of which systems are involved that our security team needs to get started with. There are many ways to do this, but for our demo today, we're gonna start by taking a look at ensuring that our digital jump bag is ready. So that's done by navigating here into Smart Files and looking at Views. Now our digital jump bag is here and it's needed for that incident response and recovery team. So in our case today, this is our immutable file share within Cohesity where we can have preloaded all of that software and the security tools needed for your enterprise. The second part to this is to head over to recoveries. And from within here, I'm going to go ahead and select our virtual machine. Once we have our virtual machine selected, we can choose the recovery point based on the understanding of the attack so far that we need to go back to. Now, even more importantly, our, we need to select our isolated clean room environment. Now, a couple other additional things. I'm gonna turn my power state off and put my initials on this so that my team knows I've initiated this recovery. So next, what I've done is brought into view our isolated environment. And what you can see here is that the recovery is already in process, underway, and just about complete. Back over to Cohesity, back into the Security Center for you today. Now, what I'd like you to do is keep in mind when it comes to restoring from an event, preparation is key. Every cyber attack can be so different, layered, and complex. So in summary today, we looked at only the initiate phase of our response. We walked you through how with Cohesity you can review and identify a threat, how you can ensure access to validated security tooling through the digital jump bag, and finally through recovering to the clean room to ensure the security team can start full forensic analysis.